What up everybody, my name is Justin and I am here to show you guys an unboxing of the new GeForce GTX SLI HD Bridge. Uh, this is for the 1080, the GTX 1080 graphics cards that just came out a couple months ago. I've got two of the Founders Edition cards installed in a, a build that I just did a couple of weeks ago. And I've been waiting on the the SLI bridge of theirs to come out. And it just released this week. And I ordered one and had it shipped to the office today. So getting ready to do an unboxing here, show you guys what it looks like. Alright, let's take a quick look. Packaging looks all nice and official. We've got... I've got the three slot. You can see here I've got the single gap. If you've got no gap, you're going to want the two slot. And if you've got a double gap in there, you're going to want the four slot. So just some information on the back. What's included. We'll focus here, maybe. All right, whatever. What's included is just this thing. So, All right, so let's get this sliced open. Okay, we've got it all cut open here, so let's go ahead and open it up. Looks nice. Alrighty. Pretty clean packaging. Green box. Let me pull it out of here. It's a big fella. All right, so we've got the eight ports. I don't know if we can get in here and really see what it says. Nothing really important. NVIDIA logo. Made in China. Yeah, so that's about it for unboxing here not much to it that was it it's got this little protective casing and stuff which is super fancy and completely unnecessary but when you spend forty dollars on an SLI bridge I guess you don't want to pull any punches in the packaging alright so I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and show you guys some before and after benchmarking and see if this really is worth the money and if it's going to make a big difference. The SLI bridge that I've got in there right now is just the one that came with the MSI board. So it's obviously only using the one slot on each card. So this new one should utilize more memory and allow it to jump, have more memory jump between the cards from uh, what I understand. So we'll find out. All right, everybody, we've got it installed. Awesome thing that I did not know, it lights up. Right here, wait for the case colors to, yeah, see, it lights up. In a bright green that matches actually the, the GeForce lights on there. It's really hard to tell with the glare on this case, but it does look pretty cool. All right, and results. The results, unfortunately, are not super promising. Now, it's definitely possible that I did not configure something correctly, but as you can see, these are my results before, and by the way, this is using the 3D Mark uh, 4K test, the uh, Fire Strike Ultra test, Fire Strike Ultra. Um, and we dropped from 8707 to 8634. Uh, the graphics score on each were, here we go, uh, it was 9217 before, and then we dropped to 9098. So I'm going to run some more tests and see what happens. And it, it, the fluctuations are, are pretty big for these tests sometimes. I tried to keep 
everything the same, closing programs that were open and things like that, but, uh, but we'll see. But definitely not drastic when it comes to the benchmarking test. So yeah, that's about it. I'm certainly going to do some research and see if there's something that is not quite configured correctly from my side. Um, but at first glance here, it looks like it is not super necessary to have one of these. Uh, if you have a SLI set up on your, on your 1080 uh, graphics cards. It is possible that the, the, uh, the Firestrike Ultra 3D Mark test is not utilizing this bridge. It's possible that there are other scenarios that would be out there that that this bridge would be much better for maybe video rendering or editing of some kind or some other type of, of graphic processing. Um, but anyway, for gaming or at least for benchmark purposes, I did not see anything drastic, but that's about it. Um, feel free. If there's something you think I missed or didn't do, feel free to put something in the comments below and looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.